trading in 2014 couldn't have got off to a better start. And I'll tell you all about it in this week's Weekend Review. Okay, welcome back traders. As always, my name is Akil Stokes, head trader at TradeEmpower.com, and I wanna wish you guys a very, very happy new year. Um, this is your first time watching this video. I basically give a recap of the trades taken in our six-figure syndicate program, which are more swing, uh, swing trades, 60-minute timeframes, four-hour timeframes, daily timeframes, and then also uh, a little flashback of what we learned and, and some of the trades we took in my day-to-day -day, uh, Forex live trading room. Now, today we're gonna talk about, uh, what well, we're gonna start off talking about the syndicate trades. You can see in front of you is a, a little chart I made up of the trades we took in the syndicate this week, the higher time frame trades, not the ones that uh, came through the desktop software. Uh, but we had five trades. We had a Euro dollar trend continuation trade, really uh, highly structure based. We had a, a dollar CAD Gartley pattern, Aussie dollar bat pattern, Euro Aussie bat pattern, and a pound dollar bat pattern. And as you can see, they ended up doing pretty well. Uh, four out of five of them won. The only loser was Canada. And that was a, a pretty pain free loss. It was like uh, pulling a teeth out, uh, pulling a tooth out quick. It, it kind of just exploded and broke out on some news. And uh, never even gave us any hope. So if we're going to lose, I'd rather lose that way. Uh, the rest of them ended up uh, ended up winning. We had a, a few hit contract one or a target one and they get stopped out for break even. Look at that Aussie and pound. And we have two that are still pending. We have uh, the Euro Aussie bat pattern that I'll show you later. Hits, hit target one for 74 pips and target two is still in process. And the Euro dollar trend continuation trade that hit target one for about 81 pips and target two is still in process, in progress, I should say. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and, and let's take a look at the euro dollar trade and I'll flash you back to the syndicate video that I put out on Tuesday uh, to show you exactly what I was looking at. I can't show you guys the whole thing that would make this video entirely too long, uh, but I'll try to pick out a, a try to pick out a good part for you to give you the gist of what I was looking at. If that was fast, I, I recommend going back to YouTube or going back to some of these syndicate videos and, uh, you know, reviewing some of the basics on structure. But this is basic harmonics, basic, uh, the basic structure of how the market moves. New structure lows, outside returns. Once those outside returns are broken and we don't achieve uh, th those new structures, we have a potential reversal in trend. And really, that's what I'm looking for right now. If I go down to a 60 minute chart. Here's what we're doing. You can see it may look a little clearer on here. We've just broken this key structure level. This is what I have my eye on, this level right here. If I draw a horizontal line, you can see we, we've just broken it to the downside. And what I, what I was waiting for is, well, a break below, close below, giving me that new structure low, and then a retest of previous structure, previous resistance that should serve as support now. Uh, in the new trend. And we're basically right up into that level. In fact, if I zoom in, we're probably going to have a little harmonic action going in there too. Let's see. Let's do a little ABCD pattern. Yep, you can see the market came right up to an ABCD pattern. If I bring a Fibonacci extension, it's going to look like a 1414. Yep, we're going to be dead center right on a 1414 Fibonacci extension. Boom, right in there. And lastly, if I take a, it's a little hard to see, but if I take a Fibonacci retracement from our last anchor leg here at our last impulse leg, I should say here at 36.77, the small one, we're going to line up right on a 618 Fibonacci retracement as well. And this was the key level where I, I basically had on my radar for to jump short uh, this market. Now, you're talking about stops and targets, where are our stops going to go? So as you can see, the euro dollar trade paid off pretty well. And, and I want to bring something to your attention. This is something I talked to my live room members about the other day. I just want to take a look at this structure level and and really talk about how candlesticks can leave clues. If we draw a line right here, we go back to this level. Let's see if I can zoom this in as much as I can. Go back up to this level right here. Just take a look at how the candlesticks reacted at this at this moment. We had two aggressive bearish candles pushed down and then we saw a spike rejection, spike rejection, another rejection here, another rejection there. Four candles in a row where price action refused to close below this line. And what I'd like to do and what I tell a lot of my clients is 
think about these candles as like a, a story. Think of it, I, I usually create a war scenario, the Civil War, where it's the bears versus the bulls. And you know, the, uh, in this case, the bears make a push down and the front line gets rejected and they get pushed back. You can make it football, basketball, soccer, whatever, uh, whatever floats your boat. But think of a story. Um, and, and that's how you wanna think about these candlesticks when you see it. We push down, reject it, reject it, reject it. We saw a bounce, then finally they broke through. What happens? Well, as often, uh, you know, we'll retest these structure levels. So as we came back up, look what happened again. Reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it. Four times again, reject it at the same level. And then even after that point, we came back for one last retest, one, two, three, four times rejected again. So three levels where the market, you know, can plainly show you that it tried to fight off this level and uh, was having trouble doing so. Uh, now, is this something you should trade off of? Should you uh, enter a, a, a short entry every time you see this or a long entry? No, but it's something you want to be aware of if you're if you're into reading the price charts. You know, again, it tells you a story. This is a clue that this is an important level, especially when you see it happen over and over again. You know, look left, structure leaves clues. That's not a lie. That's probably the best thing you can do. Uh, so anyway, that was uh, ended up being a good trade. We came down actually for the first time. We missed my target by a single tick. I, I got a little nervous uh, that, that we weren't going to, uh, I was going to get stopped out for break even, but we came down, we missed it by a single tick, came back up and then spiked down this morning, finally got it filled. And you can see, I still have the remaining, uh, remainder of my position on looking for target twos. The next trade I want to show you is the Euro Aussie trade. Uh, this was a, a potential 2618 on the higher time frame with a, a little twist on it on the lower time frame. So same thing, I'll show you a, a brief flashback of that six figure syndicate video and then we'll I'll show you how the, uh, the trade played out. If that was fast, I, I recommend going back to YouTube or going back to some of these syndicate videos and uh, you know reviewing some of the basics on structure. But this is basic harmonics, basic uh, the basic structure of how the market moves. New structure lows, outside returns. Once those outside returns are broken and we don't achieve uh, th those new structures, we have a potential reversal in trend. And really, that's what I'm looking for right now. If I go down to a 60-minute chart, Here's what we're doing. You can see it may look a little clearer on here. We've just broken this key structure level. This is what I have my eye on, this level right here. If I draw a horizontal line, you can see we, we've just broken it to the downside. And what I, what I was waiting for is, well, a break below, close below, giving me that new structure low, and then a retest of previous structure, previous resistance that should serve as support now. Uh, in the new trend. And we're basically right up into that level. In fact, if I zoom in, we're probably going to have a little harmonic action going in there too. Let's see. Let's do a little ABCD pattern. Yep, you can see the market came right up to an ABCD pattern. If I bring a Fibonacci extension, it's going to look like a 1414. Yep, we're going to be dead center right on a 1414 Fibonacci extension. Boom, right in there. And lastly, if I take a, it's a little hard to see, but if I take a Fibonacci retracement from our last anchor leg here at our last impulse leg, I should say here at 3677, the small one, we're gonna line up right on a 618 Fibonacci retracement as well. And this was the key level where I, I basically had on my radar for to jump short uh, this market. Now you're talking about stops and targets, where are stops gonna go so on the euro aussie here you can see in blue was the initial bat pattern we were looking at it it came right into that powerful structure level it was a perfect entry technique whether you were just taking it as an advanced pattern or you're looking for a reason to hop in the higher time frame trade now the interesting thing that happened and, and actually one of my live room members brought this to my attention so i can't take credit for it we actually put in a smaller bat pattern down here in purple within this bigger uh within the c to d leg of the bigger one you can see it in purple here x to a a to b b to c we had a cd completion right here and that rode up easily for two targets now i personally did not get involved in this trade i was going through data issues on that day and switching back and forth between my normal provider and someone else and by the time i saw this i you know the, my live account wasn't on the data that I was using. Anyway, you guys don't care about that. The point is I missed the trade. But what I did was I, I kept to my initial analysis. I, I took my or I kept my orders on for our initial bat pattern in blue because, well, even though we did all this jazz in between, we 
pushed up, retraced down, put in another advanced pattern. We never broke this C leg down here. So our initial, our initial prediction, our initial C to D leg uh, for the original bat was still valid. So kept my orders up there. You can see we came up, we got spiked, we got filled, we double topped up there. And then this morning, nice and easy winner. Um, we had the unemployment claims this morning that helped us out a little bit, but a nice, easy winner. Took about 70, uh, 75 pips on the way down. And uh, just like Euro dollar, gonna see if we can hit 52 even uh, for the remainder of our position. And now that'll, that'll be a, a nice little way to stuff the pockets before, uh, before the weekend comes. So those were the major highlights from the syndicate. Again, we did take a loser on dollar CAD. We had a target one winner on both pound dollar and Aussie dollar. Nothing special there, just simple patterns. So not going to review those. Uh, but I do want to take a look back at some of the live room sessions. We did have a good week there as well. We kind of picked up right where we left off. And well, I'll let you guys see for yourself some of the, uh, the highlights of uh, this week's session. Not too busy of a day on Thursday in the live room, uh, but we did take advantage of the trades that occurred. We had two good ones. One was on Euro dollar here. Uh, the market had a nice reaction off the uh, unemployment claims. We came down into a structure level, double bottomed, RSI oversold, RSI diversions, all the good stuff. Uh, we're able to buy it up and, and catch a nice, uh, pretty good move. We took targets one, target ones off, I think right around 3580s, 3578s, and came very close to getting target twos hit here at 3596. Now the market's retracing right now, as you can see, we drew out a few fibs. We have a 3D2 right here. We have a 618. We actually have a potential cipher pattern forming as well, which I'm hoping does not complete because that's gonna that's gonna mean me getting stopped out. But hoping to get a retest up to this level, shoot past our 3596 targets, uh, and get to this 36 even handle so I can get a get the rest of this profit off the board for a pretty good uh, a pretty good day trade. Now the other trade we had was Euro Yen. This actually came off some analysis off the higher time frames as well. And every morning in the room, we do top down analysis. So we look at the 60 minute charts and, and work our way down to the five minutes just to get an overall view of the market. But you can see we had two things here. We had a double top here, previous double top. We had the market rotate and uh, push off of that double top, putting us in a slight bearish rotation. We then came back up to test it with another double top. So we basically got a kiss of death trade here. Uh, two back-to-back -back double tops. We put our orders in right here, and well, you can see the rest is history. Market came down to hit easily, uh, target one and target two, pain-free uh, for a good gain. So, like I said, not much action today in the room, but like I said, you, I mean, all you can do is take advantage of the trades that come. And well, we took two, we won on both of them today, uh, bringing us back into profit for the week. And uh, hey, if you can catch one good trade a day, you're in business. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we did have a good week in the live room and, and really nothing special. And this is the thing that um, a lot of traders don't realize until I start working with them. I'm not some big hotshot that hits these amazing trades. I don't hit these big million pip winners. I'm, I'm, I'm not the that efficient trader that wins 90% of the time and, and never loses. I'm just a a typical consistent trader. And as you can see, you know, last year, my live room stats were about, I think I usually range about 55% correct. And we're in the same boat here, you know, four wins, three losses this week, uh, losses, not too big, 20 pips, 44 pips, 22 pips. And that's on, uh, you know, got to times that by two, because we're, we're at least I'm trading a, a two contract position. And then our winners, 24, 17, 56, 58, nothing nothing too serious the key is really consistency that that's all it is guys it's have a plan you have a strategy make sure that strategy has an edge meaning it has a statistical advantage uh basically meaning that if you do the same darn thing every time in the long run you'll make money all you need is to have that and just be consistent consistent with your analysis and consistent with your trading and you know before you know it you'll be a consistently profitable trader you may not be like the, the the people you see when you when you Google forex trading that hey make 200% a month and all that. Uh, I don't want to call it BS, but all that jazz. I uh, guess I did just call it BS. But you know, be realistic. Be realistic. Be consistent. And once you add that money management, that's where you really can. Uh, that's where you can really do wonders with your account. So, thank you guys for joining me for this week's 
weekend review as always. Again, if you're not subscribed, do so. If you haven't shared this video with a friend, don't be selfish. Don't keep all this free education to yourself. Get it out there. You know, tell somebody about it. And uh, for you guys that have been asking me questions, I, I get this a lot of kill. I, I love the live room. I love the weekend review. I like what you're doing there. But I don't necessarily have the time to be in there with you every day. Think about the syndicate now, guys. It's it's $20 a month. Um, it's more than just a higher time frame trading now. I am pumping over uh, the day trades that we take in the live room. And I'll show you guys a little glimpse. This is the desktop software we use. So in the live room, when we see setups, we're pumping them over. So that's another option for you if you're not able to spend three beautiful hours a day with me and my beautiful voice.